The space race has entered a new season that is heavily focused on Mars. This has been going on for quite some time now, but in recent years we have witnessed an increase in interest in the race to Mars. The galaxy sits at a crossroads of countless impossibilities, imprinting every living form in beauty beyond comprehension, making itself impossible to understand, explore, and conquer. It is no place for the feeble-minded. Only the brave and strong-hearted can step into this territory. To whom is it worthy enough to behold this challenge? At the forefront of this race is Musk's SpaceX and America's space agency, NASA. NASA and SpaceX suddenly changed plans to land on Mars. What surprises will happen? SpaceX was established to set up civilization on the Red Planet. NASA, the former rulers of the space industry, has laid out some plans to land on Mars. We will dive deeper into the plans of both companies for human life on Mars in this video, as well when they hope that the vision will be accomplished which turns out to be sooner rather than later, so stay tuned. While other billionaires are seizing the opportunity to profit from the newfound world appetite for space travel, Elon Musk has a more definite, involved approach to the concept. Unwavering in his vision for his company of building sustainable life on Mars and using the rocket ship Starship as an interplanetary transport. The goal for Starship is for it to transform into something as common as commercial air travel. This is so ambitious it is almost hard to believe that they are coming close to achieving this goal. The city on Mars will involve life in gas domes at first, and then the planet will eventually be terraformed to support life as Earth does. Unfortunately, this terraforming process would be too slow to be completed in our lifetime, but we can establish a human base there before the next generation takes over. Elon has often said he wanted to get people onto Mars as soon as possible, and he claims that the first crewed Starship mission to Mars could launch in 2026, and he expects to have 1 million people residing on the planet by 2050. Mentioning all of Elon and his team's hard work to get people on Mars, it is logical to wonder what exactly NASA is doing in the race to multiplanetary civilization. Although the federal agency has sent rovers and probes to the Red Planet and inhabiting Mars is ultimately the goal, it is not on the immediate agenda. Cheryl Warner of NASA has shared that the agency will establish capabilities for increasingly longer human missions on and around the moon, as well as send crews on these moon missions about once a year, but will always bring the crew back to home base Earth. At the moon, they expect to test the capabilities and gain the experience needed to send the first humans on Mars and once again bring them back home. For now, NASA's Mars rover landings on the planet allow for explorations there without human presence and lay the groundwork for future journeys that may involve human settlements. The current concept for NASA's first human mission to Mars includes a shop that will remain in Mars orbit as the crew boards a lander to the surface. Mars remains the ultimate goal for the agency. However, the road to colonizing the planet is not at all easy. Whether it is SpaceX or NASA, they will have to overcome great obstacles to make history the biggest of which the huge capital costs involved and the harsh environment on Mars. This leads to the question of just how expensive is the Mars colonization plan? This unfathomable price it entails is one of the main reasons why other leading world economies are not attempting Mars's mission. Not even Musk has dared to guess an all-in cost estimate of the mission. The last space program that came close to Musk's interplanetary travel ambitions was NASA's Apollo program the mid-20th century effort that landed six spacecraft and 12 astronauts on the moon. Using today's price rates, the Apollo program cost well over $280 billion. In some years, NASA was using up more than 4% of the entire national budget. In more recent years, the space agency has received less than half of 1% of the federal budget. The agency, however, is mapping out its plans to return man to the moon and eventually land them on Mars but they have not indicated just how much this will cost either. Billionaire business mogul Musk's wealth is currently valued at around $222 billion, thanks to the success of the stock of his electric car company Tesla. His other businesses, PayPal and SpaceX Starlink Network, albeit in beta testing, are expected to yield enough profit to fuel his Mars project. The company also has steadily raised funds from banks and venture capitalists over the years to fund both Starship and Starlink projects simultaneously. At the moment, though, no one can truly tell just how much finance the Mars program will require ultimately. As even if both companies are capable of space travel to Mars and back and setting up base at the Red Planet, settlers will need airtight habitats to shield them from toxic air and the deadly radiation that rains down on its surface. 
This leads to the second constraint, the harsh planetary environment. Beyond toxic air and poisonous radiation, difficulties and hazards also include low gravity, the isolation that accompanies Mars's distance from the Earth, lack of water and cold temperatures. Discussing this in a very encouraging mini-speech, Musk says, it is not for the faint of heart, there's a good chance you'll die, and it is going to be tough going, and it better be pretty glorious if it works out. The SpaceX website says that Mars is 140 million miles away from Earth, making it Earth's closest habitable neighbor. The planet is about half as far away from the Sun as Earth is, making it still have decent light. Regarding the cold temperatures, SpaceX believes that they could easily warm up the planet. Musk does have a plan for making this planet an attractive destination for long-term living. Terraforming Terraforming is the hypothetical process of making a planet or body similar to Earth. In theory, SpaceX could warm up Mars by blasting both holes of the planet with pulsing nuclear missiles to create tiny artificial suns that will warm the planet and induce an Earth-like atmosphere. Terraforming Mars will be possible by nuking it with 10,000 nuclear missiles. But doing this will use up almost all manned supply of nuclear weapons. Not such a bad thing for humanity, to be honest. Musk has also acknowledged that the process of terraforming will be extremely intensive, but they are not willing to give up the idea. The concept is so ingrained in SpaceX's lore that they even sell t-shirts on their website that read Nuke Mars and Occupy Mars. Musk himself is frequently seen sporting one of these t-shirts now and then. NASA has said that it is not possible to terraform Mars with today's technology, negating SpaceX's plan and subsequent effort in that area. In a study done in 2018, researchers pointed out that the planet does not retain enough carbon for oxide that could practically be put back into the atmosphere to warm the planet. And so, they seem to be at an impasse on how the planet could be induced to evolve to host human life long term. NASA believes that robotic mining that can provide water and fuel seems to be the key to building colonies on the planet within the next 30 years. After the successful landing on Mars by NASA's rover Perseverance, it is believed that Mars will be colonized by humans by the year 2050, as shared by a professor of UNSW Sydney so long as autonomous mining processes quickly become more commercially viable. Perseverance is expected to determine whether forms of life ever existed on Mars, and it is estimated that it will return with answers on this by 2026. It is also designed to address the challenges of future human expeditions there. Regardless, Musk remains steadfast in his views. At an awards show webcast in December 2020, Musk said that he is highly confident that SpaceX will land humans on Mars by 2026, and that the most important aspect is establishing Mars as a self-sustaining civilization. While both companies seem to be planning their progress with similar timelines, it will be most interesting to see which of the two will first arrive at a breakthrough in landing and settling mankind on Mars. What company do you think will win the race to Mars? Will SpaceX be able to establish a base for the evolution of humans into a multi-planetary species? How soon do you see NASA exploring Mars? Let us know what you think and your ideas about all of this in the comments section below.